Fights between males and females are common in the animal kingdom. It's like the animal's greatest enemy is their opposite gender. They will fight for dominance, mating, and food. Sometimes one gender will lose the fight a lot more often than the other, either because they are a lot stronger, more toxic, and has a lot more companions backing them up. In this video, we'll look at animals that often fight with the opposite gender, and I will rank them by how savage the attacks can get. This is the top 10 battle of the sexes in the animal kingdom. Number 10 is the lion. Even though the females in a pride of lions are the hunters of the group, when they get back to the pride, the dominant male will fight the females off and he will eat first. He needs that energy because his role is the protector. Females will also do most of the childcare. The male lions can do all of these things just fine on their own. I mean, they are a lot stronger than the females. The lioness, however, will let this behavior go because they need the males to protect them and their cubs from predators and competing males. Number 9 is the hyena. Females are the dominant animal. They are larger, stronger, and more aggressive than the males. Females will also have more male hormones than the males. Males are at the very bottom of the social hierarchy. And yes, the baby females are higher than the adult males on the social hierarchy. When feeding, the females will eat most of the prey while the males eat the scraps left behind. Females control everything that happens, like when they move, hunt, and mate. Number 8 is the Tasmanian Devil. It's no surprise that the Tasmanian Devil is on here. I mean, they are born fighters. Males are very aggressive towards females when it's time to mate. Females prepare for the aggressive mating encounter by eating a lot to have a protective layer of fat on their neck. The male will bite and hold down the female so he can mate with her, and when he is done, he will keep her inside of his den, attacking her if she tries to leave. He will do this for three days. Number seven is the elephant. During the breeding season, the females look for the strongest male so that our offspring can carry his traits so it has the highest chances of surviving. To find out which male is the strongest, the female will have to fight any male she comes across and the last one standing is the bull she will mate with. These animals will ram into each other with their long sharp tusks. These animals have a lot of speed and have a lot of weight, which means when they ram into each other, a lot of force is going to be given off and they will also hit each other with their powerful trunks. Number 6 is the scorpion. The scorpion has one of the most dangerous mating rituals in the animal kingdom. When the male finds the females, they will clamp their pincers together and the female will try to sting him and he will use his stinger to block hers. When they fight, they look like they are dancing. The male will even caress the female's mandibles. What the female is doing is testing his strength. If she thinks that the male is strong enough, she will mate with him. But if not, she will kill and eat them. You know, like you do. Number 5 is the brown bear. Some males have missed their chance to mate during the breeding season. So they will try to find another chance to mate. And make sure his genes don't die out. What he does is try to find a female with cubs. His goal is to kill her cubs and force her body to stop lactating. When that happens, her body will shift into reproductive mode. But the mom won't let her kids die without a fight. And these animals are very powerful. They have a strong jaw pressure. And when they slap with their paw, they give off over 6,000 pounds of force. And they have claws that are almost 4 inches long. Number 4 is the common garter snake. When these animals come out of hibernation, the females are the first one to come out. And she will release a pheromone telling the male common garter snakes that she is ready to mate. The female will basically get dogpiled by many males, which are smaller than her, all trying to mate with her. She will really become overwhelmed by the amount of males that are just piling onto her. Number 3 is the black widow. Females are a lot larger than the males that are more toxic. When the males find a female's web, he will alert her by shaking the web, drawing her towards him, thinking something got caught. The male will cautiously try to get into the mating position where the female won't get him. When he is done, he is at risk of the female, who will try to catch and eat him. Number 2 is the praying mantis. Males are very cautious around females who are trying to mate because she will try to fight and kill him. She will try to bite the male's head off and eat him. Males make the ultimate sacrifice trying to keep his species alive and females will get the ultimate dinner. And number 1 is the sea louse. The last thing that a female sea louse wants is to get pregnant. The male will lure the female into his den and trap her in there. When the babies are ready to enter the world, they will burst through their mother like a xenomorph. So when you have your little quarrels with your partner, consider that you're at least not going to get killed, contained, or eaten by your partner. Unlike the animals that were on this list.